If you're just joining us, the number one contender for the U.S. title is here on SmackDown Live. And we've learned he's going to get his U.S. title shot at Backlash. Now, I can't wait to hear him try to rationalize how he even belongs in the same ring with Bobby Roode. This should be good. A few months ago, I was wrestling in high school gyms in front of maybe 300 people. A lot's changed since then, to say the least, because now I'm wrestling one of the best in the business, Bobby Roode, for the U.S. title at Backlash. Through all my ups and downs, I've learned that you can't take anything for granted. And that's why at Backlash, I can't guarantee that I'll beat Bobby Roode. But I can guarantee I'm going to enjoy the moment. Because you never know when it could all go away. I know when it could all go away. Sunday at Backlash, when this man totally embarrasses you. You know, after seeing so many guys come and go over the years, you become a bit jaded. Last week, I was ready to pass you off as some indie darling who hadn't paid his dues and didn't deserve to be here without even really meeting you first. But maybe you deserve a second chance. You don't have to like him, but you can at least be fair. And we've all made mistakes. Yeah, I like the suit you're wearing tonight. You did just call me one of the best in the business, after all. I meant it. You are. I'd actually say the best in the business, not one of. But I appreciate it nonetheless. So with all that being said, it's nice to meet you, Buzz. A couple minutes ago, you talked about savoring the moment. Well, with that in mind, how about we make our match at Backlash an even bigger moment for everyone to enjoy? A moment that would be absolutely glorious. I like what you're saying. But how do we do that? You versus me, best two out of three falls. I look forward to stealing the show with you. Your match at Backlash just got even bigger. So, did you enjoy the moment? What do you mean? The moment you thought you had earned my respect. Yes, that's what I'm talking about, Cole. Thank you, Bobby Roode. So much for second chances. Bobby Roode just sent a message to Buzz that he's going to have to earn his respect, not with words, but in the ring when they face each other at Backlash. The best two out of three falls. We've been waiting a long time for this. The championship is up for grabs right here next. We have one of our breakout talents against an imposing adversary. Always a little special when the title is on the line. is a two out of three falls match and is for the United States Championship. This man always makes an impact. It's Buzz. Buzz was a three-sport athlete in high school. He's going to need every bit of his athletic ability to prevail tonight. I didn't realize they gave out varsity letters for whining, taking shortcuts, and failing upwards.
just became absolutely glorious. Can I get a hallelujah? Hallelujah! Not from you, Byron. How many times do we have to go through this? I've been practicing all week. You haven't gotten any better. There is only one, Bobby Roode. Introducing the challenger from New York, weighing in at 170 pounds, the freak. Introducing the champion from Toronto, Ontario, Canada, weighing in at 235 pounds, he is the United States champion, Bobby Roode. Don't change that dial. The net breaker, this one is over. executed. He's showing absolutely no pity now, guys. Brutal attack to the top of the head. The champ's absorbing some offense here. But it's going to take a lot more than that to stop okay. him here tonight. Yeah, but it looks to me like he still has plenty of energy in that body of his. I wouldn't look too much into this right now. He seemed more motivated than ever heading into this match, which makes me think he still has plenty of fight left in him. He'll be feeling the effects of that for a while. We've seen champions head into matches maybe a little too confident, only to be picked off in the end. And guys, I can't help but wonder if we're going to see that again here tonight. Speaking of champions, heading into matches a bit overconfident, one of the most glaring examples of that would have to be the honky-tonk man's attitude heading into his Intercontinental Championship defense at SummerSlam 1988. We all know what happened to him on that night. <laughs> you are so right, Michael. That was great, of course, though. It wasn't so great for the honky-tonk man who ended up losing his championship to the Ultimate Warrior in fewer than 30 seconds. The human body can only absorb so much of that. How's this going on? How's the official missing this? This capacity crowd is beside itself. This is what makes him one of the best in the business.
What is Buzz? It's got to be over now. I'm not sure how much he has left. Things just went from bad. It's got to be hard to rebound from that one. Don't be surprised if you crown a new champ here. One of the greatest strikers in the game right now. You got to think about using the finisher here pretty soon, I would think. Just pick up the win and move on. What does Buzz have in store? We're, We're about to find out. Oh, he's going to do it. Oh, I think this man needs business. Game, set, match. This one is over. Shoulders on the mat. No, he kicks out. Nicely done. Wow. Good point by Byron earlier. If there's an opening to execute the finisher, you got to take it. The last thing you want to do is let your opponent hang around for no reason. I can tell you bad things happen when you do that. If you don't believe me, just go back and watch Skip versus Barry Horowitz from 1995. I remember that like it was yesterday, Cole. Instead of putting Horowitz away, Skip thought it would be a good idea to do some mid-ring push-ups. And as you were saying, the decision ultimately came back to haunt him. Incoming. Guys, in a title match like this one, on a stage as big as the one we're on now, you have to wonder how much nerves will become a factor. Oh my goodness, what an impactful STO. Now that's the type of move that sends a message to an opponent. Circling back to your earlier point, Corey, you have to think nerves will play a big part in this match, which I think favors the champion, especially considering how many times the champ's been in big-time matches like this. I'd agree. The champ is used to the bright lights and bright stage. Dare I say, it's almost second nature at this point. When this guy's on, look out. Obviously a great opportunity here for the challenger who can't afford to make any mistakes here tonight. Not when you're in the ring with a champion as dominant as this one. He's got to be running on empty at this point. He goes down hard. Yeah, he's not looking very good at this point, Cole. What does Buzz have in store? We're, We're about gonna... to find out. Oh, he's going to do it. He hits it. Buzz brings everyone to their feet. But he's running on fumes here. Does he have enough left in him to capitalize? To follow up Byron's earlier point, the challenger has to remember just how rare championship opportunities truly are here in WWE. A loss here could... His shoulders are down. The cover. And this one's history. What a win. there. I don't know what made him think that was a good idea. Dropped by a clothesline. Hits him right between the eyes with the knee. The champ looks to be in phenomenal shape. It's going to be tough to defeat someone who might just be in the best shape of their career. Whoa, down he goes. That was impressive, Cole. Back in the ring again. Close fist. He's looking a little wobbly here, guys. Michael, his legs look like they're about to give out on him. He's inflicting some serious pain here. I think we're about to see a high-risk move from the top rope. Look at this! Given what we've seen so far, I wouldn't at all be surprised if we see a title change here tonight. Oh boy, he is rolling! 
What is Buzz? He hits it. Buzz brings everyone to their feet. This is all but over. Things just went from bad. Shining wizard. That's what he was looking for, Michael. What does Buzz have in store? We're, We're about to find out. Oh, he's going to do it. And there it is again. That's a good one. Things just went from bad to worse for Bobby Roode. And Buzz has just reached the top of the mountain. What a special moment. Let's take another look at these guys in action. I can watch highlights of that one all night long. One of the great WWE matches I've ever been able to watch. Count yourselves lucky, people. You might watch WWE for years and only see a match that good a few times. Buzz has done it. He's outlasted Bobby Roode to win his first title in WWE. And even more impressive, he did it in his first singles match. This guy is the real deal. Yeah, look, it's certainly a huge accomplishment to win the U.S. title the way that he did. But now the real work begins, defending it. He just won the title. Let the man enjoy it for two minutes.